Hey everyone, this is Carrie from The Roads We Roam, and this is our weekly wrap-up video. Last week after leaving the escapade in Tucson, we found a great boondocking site where we stayed for a couple days in the Ironwood National Monument area. Then we went on to the Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch. We had a great week, and we are inviting you to come roam the roads with us. Along these roads we roam, we find adventure through traveling, camping, boondocking, and exploring. Good morning, everybody. It's such a beautiful morning here at the Ironwood National Monument, which is BLM land. We are boondocking here right now, and we could not be happier with this place. Take a look at this. Nobody else within sight. Boy, I don't think there's much more relaxing than sharpening a knife in this beautiful desert weather here. My grandpa had some really nice carving stones. And I remember looking at them. They were all concave. <laughs> I don't know how many thousands, hundreds of thousands of swipes. It took him to get that. Just beautiful. We're about 40 miles away from Tucson out here. Um, just look at that over there. My goodness. It's beautiful right now. Birds are singing. There's a lot of greenery around here. There's a lot of butterflies around. Gorgeous little sight here. We are going to hang out here for several days. Uh, it depends. We're gonna slow down a little bit and enjoy this area. Look at these trees here. I think they're so cool with the green tinge to them. A little barrel cactus right down there. Yeah, we're loving it. I don't know where Abby's headed. Where are you going, Abby girl? If you're out in the desert area like this and you have these, they are going to be a menace to your dog. Highly suggest you get some sort of booties for your dogs. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad, Stevie. Abby's gotten used to the... <laughs> what? You think I was calling your name? Huh? No, I was just telling everybody how you've gotten used to your booties. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so she's gotten used to those booties really quick. Kind of a necessity out here with those little barbs. But I'm glad she's gotten used to those. We're going to see if we can't find some better ones. Maybe some form-fitting ones that are like uh, neoprene or something like that. Ooh, this is a place to stand. Oh, I can smell that. It smells delicious, Ace. Oh, man. It's been marinating my seat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Y'all need to come out and do this. <laughs> You're going to have to get more taco meat for them, though. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll cook. <laughs> oh, look at those tacos Ace made. Absolutely spoiling us. Thank you guys for this amazing dinner. We all got to eat, right? That's right. <laughs> we don't get to eat this good all the time. I don't think we're going to be able to get it back in the bag until we watch the video. Oh. I don't know which way it goes. Oh, it goes this way. Five minutes. All right. How many boondockers does it take to figure out how to fold up the pork body? Or plug the YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> It's good enough. How about that? It'll go back on the bug. Right. I'm gonna get the bag. Uh, 23 you know, minutes. Wow. <laughs> you know I won't be around to help you. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you the setup here. This is the privacy tent we got. It's a Field and Stream brand. We got it at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. As you can see, it's got these bags around all four sides. Those bags come with it. We have them filled with rocks right now. It just adds a little bit of extra support 
Main reason being, as you can see here, like this stake here, that's as far as we could get that into the ground because the rocky ground here is so tough. Now over there, we didn't have a problem. Over here, we didn't have a problem. Um, it does have these vents here. You can see to vent the area out. If you don't want those open, they're attached by Velcro. You just do that and then they're closed. So there's the inside. We've got our luggable loo down there. It has a hook here that uh, you can roll this door up and close the door off. Um, and it does have these pockets down here. We got some wipes in there. These are the luggable loo double duty bags. And up here, it has a hook for the shower. All right, just tried to hang the solar shower bag up there. Uh, I only had two gallons in it and the tent collapsed in on itself. So if you're looking to hang a shower in this unit, it's not gonna work. Uh, but if you're just looking at purely as a privacy tent, maybe for changing, uh, maybe if you have a small teardrop or a small trailer where you can't change inside of, it's perfect for that. It's perfect for privacy for restroom use. Uh, but if you're looking for a shower, I would stay away from this unit. All right, everybody. Well, this is our last day here at the Ironwood National Monument, which is BLM land. Uh, we camped here for several days. It's free, uh, boondocking, beautiful area. You got creosote bushes all over the place. You've got these uh, yellow Palo Verde trees all over the place. There's uh, saguaro cactuses. Uh, at night, you can hear the coyotes. Um, it's a gorgeous area. I mean, there's birds chirping all over the place, butterflies flying around. This is uh, grassland, and uh, we will definitely come back here because we've just had a blast here. So we left our boondocking site, we're on our way to Phoenix, and we are stopping by one of our favorite places along the I-10, it's Rooster Cogbird's Ostrich Ranch. You've probably driven by it a lot, it's well worth a stop. It's a big, huge petting zoo. They even have stingrays, ostrich, and a whole lorikeet bird area, which is my favorite uh, place. You get all the birds that will sit on your shoulders and all that. So um, let's check it out. He's like, nah, I don't want yours. <laughs> yeah, they did all clear, didn't they? Yeah. Wow, that was cool. Oh, no, you're supposed to do your hands. Did that taste good? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he drank all that one. That was good. You opened up both covers. I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, you can feel that water go. <laughs> Looking right it's by like, her. Uh, 
you know, when you get next to a filter on a pool when you're swimming. Yeah, exactly. Like they know. So that wraps up another great time at Rooster Cogburns. Yeah, this is our second time here. Last time we were here, we were here with our son and his fiance. We had a blast. What's your favorite part? Watching you kiss a goat. Watching me kiss a goat. <laughs> Uh, I liked the bunny rabbits and I liked the stingrays. My all, my ultimate favorite though are the lorikeets. Yeah, they're very cool. I they like... will open up the container for you. Hey everyone, it is laundry day. Guys, check out this coffee bar right here. Looks like an old uh, teardrop. Very cool, isn't that? So Amanda and I were very jealous that Russ got to get his manicure. Yes. Or pedicure, rather. Pedicure. <laughs> so, guess what we're doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye.